Well, it is October, and uh, this is uh, for the folks in the channel and also for folks on the YouTube. Just to let you know, we are doing our annual best of the worst of the sexy costumes. Yes. Now is the time. I know Andy already pulled it. I think the sexy handmaid qualifies. Yeah. Well, anyway, no spoilers. Um, Everybody sent it to us. If you have a contestant for the top, one of the worst sexy costumes of the year, by all means, please send that on to us at request at radiodeadair.com. That'll be October 29th, and it'll be up on YouTube soon after. So get that on, and we'll we'll take care of that. But right now, we have a different sort of horrible stuff to go through. It is, it is of course... It's our regular weekly horrible. It's becoming less horrible in its own way. It's it just it, by basics of, of comparison. I mean, I guess, yeah, like compared to the real news. Right? It's less upsetting. Right? So, yeah. Come on, fucking work. Uh, there it is. I'm trying to find my damn intro. Why do you go work? All right, here we go. I know the beginning and the end of the intro, but not the middle. All right, so let's get this. Let's get this underway. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interweb, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call "What the Fuck Is Wrong with You?" And Tara, been doing this for over a decade, close to two. Yeah. And I'm amazed it took this long, but this... Do we actually have a first? So, a horse walks into a bar. <laughs> I'll tell you what delighted me about this story. Have you seen the John Mulaney Netflix special, Kid Gorgeous? Possibly. It's very funny. It's his new Netflix special. He's delightfully oh, weird. But he's, 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 shut up. Holy he does shit. this whole thing about there's a horse loose in a hospital. So. I gotta see that again. That is amazing. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my god. What the fucking bear. I like bear. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> horse runs wild inside bar after escaping racing stable north of paris chantilly france a horse galloped into a bar in france and as you can imagine things got a little wild that was the best you could do come on who wrote this who's there's no byline that was the best I this is a byline on that either because this is gold not even buck wild the world you were handed gold and that was the best lead you could oh my god very disappointed in you whoever you are the young horse escaped her racing stable and ran for the nearest bar which happened to have been seven customers inside as she bucked her legs in the air and bumped into tables and chairs surveillance video captured the horse running from one end of the business to the others people scampered away the horse eventually ran back outside no one was hurt now, someone on Twitter pointed out that it looked like her saddle was had slid, and that's why she was so upset. I don't know if know enough about horses to know if that's true, but that might be the reason. That's kind of like a horse wedgie. Yeah. Someone called Joss Whedon, we found bad horse. <laughs> I was just waiting for the, the, the live action version of BoJack Horseman is going weird. Yeah. See, and I was delighted because the first time I saw this, it was because John Mulaney retweeted it. And because he does that whole bit about a horse loose in a hospital, that made me happy. I just imagine people out looking for the horse like, where could the horse have possibly gone? <laughs> he went to get some wine. Well, gee, well, let's check. Uh, let's check pastures. Let's check fields. Maybe he's on the side of the road. In Ireland, I feel like everybody would have just kept drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
a fucking horse. Fuck your Honda Civic. I have a horse outside. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. That's not what you expect when you're sitting out no, for a trip. You're just sitting there drinking your feelings. You don't expect Mr. Ed to come barreling through. <laughs> It's, those these are the moments in life you have to stop and take stock and like think for yourself is this really happening or have i finally snapped or is it time for the bartender to cut me off <laughs> have i had enough uh <sighs> <Sacre> blue <laughs> it's my terrible french you're welcome i poor the the horse just the, the horse was not there to, to, to was not no, fucking around. Horse. That's not a happy horse. That's not as like fuck you, fuck this, fuck all of you. What do you mean you don't have Budweiser? Still a better Supreme Court pick. <laughs> well, it's because they use court horses. All right. Is that so, about the Wells Fargo wagon. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't go near Chick-fil-A anymore. They... I've never had Chick-fil-A. You didn't miss anything. Don't generally have it up here. It, I think they yeah. put one in my mall a while ago, but it's not been a thing up here. So th this is one of those. I, I'm kind of glad that I don't. Go if this is the kind of thing that happens at Chick Fil A, I'm I'm kind of glad I have no reason to go there. Are they fighting? No, they're just fucking with him while he's in the litter box. That's the other new thing they do. He tries to pee, and they go and mess with him. Poor Simba. Naked in our Mean Girls world. Sorry. Na naked Florida man tries to start Fight Club at Chick Fil A. <laughs> Okay. Deputies say he stripped down and kept yelling, look at my dick. No one wants to see your dick. That's rule one. Florida man faces misdemeanor charges after authorities say he stripped his clothes off outside a Chick-fil-A while inviting passerbys to stare at his exposed genitals. How is that a fight club? The bizarre incident unfolded shortly after 1 a.m. Monday. A witness told investigators the episode began when she took a call from her boyfriend who said he was being chased by a man while riding his bike past Winn-Dixie. Witness said when she got to Chick-fil-A, a stranger was challenging her boyfriend to a fight. Then she said he took off his clothes and began yelling about people staring at his private parts. I observed multiple people, uh, vehicles drive by while the man was nude and yelling, look at my dick. The man I'm still not clear on how that's a fight club. That doesn't sound like a fight club, no. That 30... sounds like a look at my dick club. 30-year-old <laughs> Corey Michael Hatzel is arrested on charges of disorderly conduct and resisting officers without violence. Now, is why, if you're concerned about people staring at your dick, why are you giving them a better look? Maybe it was like a really ill-conceived homophobia protest because it was the Chick-fil-A. No, I, I'm not. You're, you're, you're trying too hard. You're trying like, too hard. Too look hard. at my dick. I'm a man. I is to, why? Oh, they're going to mistake that for a chicken tender and put it in the fryer. <laughs> and then you're not going to be happy. Hey. Uh, and this is a terrible thing Chick-fil-A has been doing, especially in the summer. I, everyone's like, oh, it's more efficient. They've been sticking people outside for the drive through There's like two people they stick out. I've, I've watched this. I've driven Did by. What? Okay. Here's how it works. They have two people who are holding like flip book menus and like iPad thingies. And you get you drive up first, and then you give them your order. So it's car hop, and then you drive around further, and there's someone who takes the money, and then you get to the window, 
And it's but 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 it gets better. You think, oh well, the window opens, you get your food. No, no, there's someone standing outside the window who gets the food from the window and hands it to you. Why? And it's been horrible. That sounds really dumb. It's been horrible because the the temperature during the summer here was so bad. So I've just yeah. the the Chick Fil A is like right next to the Best Buy. So I've been driving by sometimes when I go to the Best Buy, and I'm just looking at these poor people melting and dying in As, their polyester uniform. Yeah, why? What? So this is all. It's already a bad time for them. Like the speaker technology is pretty good now. You can usually understand them. It's, it's, it's. That's dumb. I, I just, so these people already have to deal with all this shit. And now on top of it, there's your dick. Right. Now, granted, it was one in the morning and Chick-fil-A closes like at the instant the sun goes down because God, I think. Um, I don't think there's any rules about chicken after sundown in the Bible. <laughs> At least they didn't teach me that in catechism, but to those people, Catholics are heretics, so I could be wrong. But the first thing you do, you come in, you clock in, you check the security footage. And there's a guy giving everybody the helicopter dick. Good morning, here's a penis. That's... That is that is not... that That is not the way you want to start. And some people do like waking up that way. But that's a choice. <laughs> Not a responsibility. And, 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 and that's not a choice. That's not a choice that you have made by taking a job at the Chick-fil-A. No, it is not. You, you didn't sign on for morning penis. <laughs> well, you think to yourself, hey, Chick-fil-A, there's problems, obviously. What's my alternative? Zaxby's. Zaxby's is an alternative to Chick-fil-A. What's Zaxby's? Zaxby's is a chain restaurant that does chicken without all the uh, hating the gays. Without all the Jesus? Yes. And they're quite good. Okay. Up so, here we have like KFC and Popeyes. So, so yeah, we have Zaxby's. Oh, wait, no. That's, that's ruined too. Wendy's chicken was pretty good the other day. When it man decides, when it man demands free Zaxby's while impersonating FBI agents. Man claiming to be an undercover FBI agent barged into a Snellville Zaxby's on Thursday afternoon and demanded free food. Uh, shortly before uh, 4 p.m., Timothy Lee Driver went to the Zaxby's on Stone Mountain Highway. Driver flashed an empty gun holster at the cashier said he was an undercover FBI agent and asked for free food. The cashier called police. Now, here's the, the balls on this guy. When officers arrived, driver told them he was an FBI agent. Really? You just kept it going. <laughs> You're not going to try to walk that shit back. Maybe even throw it... Even. Maybe even try to, oh, no, I'm a retired. I'm retired. Like your gambit has failed. No. Just quit while you're behind. Seriously. Also, I don't think that's a free food thing. No. It's not like you, you join the FBI, get free chicken. That's I not in the Constitution. I don't, I don't think that's part of the deal. No. The I don't remember Dale Cooper or Mulder and Scully talking about a bunch of free chicken. No. Coffee, your coffee. They'll give you the fucking not chicken. That's not what our founding fathers intended. <laughs> but the FBI didn't come along until well after the founding fathers. If we're being fair, like there were no guys in white powdered wigs, flashing fed badges. Like that wasn't a thing. Well, that would be fun though. Like an X Files set in colonial times. That would be fun. Everything would be witches, dude. Everything would be witches. Yes. <laughs> that would be fun. Driver was arrested. That's basically the crucible. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it wouldn't actually be that fun. Driver was arrested and taken to the Gwinnett County Detention Center. He's being held on $3,000 bond. Hey, you know what would have been, been a lot less than $3,000? 
Just buying your lunch. Paying for your fucking chicken! Much cheaper than $3,000. Yeah. Just your chicken. Pay for your- And like, you thought they were going to be impressed by an empty gun holster? That's like, yeah, well, it's, it's an invisible- There's no gun in there. It's an invisible FBI gun. This is a well-known fact. It's an invisible oh, you're FBI. Like, you're like in the deep state. Okay. Well, the deep state obviously gets free chicken. Everybody knows that. I just love that he tried to bullshit the cops. They're, they're going to be like, oh, okay, you're FBI. No, no, really. I'm, I'm a fed. Can't you tell? By my lack of identification. He didn't need, he, he unable to give a name or phone number for a supervisor. So that means they took, they're like, okay, sir, uh, what's your supervisor's name? Um, Bob. Bob. <laughs> <Skinner>. <laughs> the balls on this guy. Walter Skinner. Oh, well, hey, speaking of the balls on this guy, this is another, okay. <laughs> I have run for, uh, that I could be literal balls on this show. <laughs> it could. I have in my I have run for a bus in my day, like and I didn't catch it because the the bus driver's like you ain't here I'm gone fuck you. I have run for a cab. I've even and I'm very proud of this I missed a tube in London. And I, that, is that a thing to be proud of? Yes, because that's is that really is an accomplishment. That is a true Londoner experience. I've had oh, that experience in my. Okay. However, this is one even I have not attempted. Dublin Airport plane chasing passenger charged. A passenger had been pinned to the ground by police at Dublin Airport after running out onto the terminal toward a plane and shouting for the pilot to wait. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Well, it's Ryanair. They might. Patrick Keogh. would be like, for 20 bucks, we'll wait, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Keogh, 23, made it to the taxiing Ryanair aircraft before police arrested him. He had been charged with criminal damage to a door lock and granted bail. Ground crew members said he just ran from the building toward the plane. The Irishman was quite determined to make his flight. An eyewitness told Irish broadcaster RTE, adding that he ran toward the plane with his suitcase under his arm. BBC. You know, if you were quite determined to make your flight, you would have shown up on time. But it gets better. BBC News is uh, the Declan Harvey. Uh, Declan. 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 Uh, Declan Harvey, uh, who was at the scene. It's uh, BBC so News Northern Ireland. Northern BBC. Ireland. Okay, sorry. I don't know. It's uh, important. It's the whole of the country. When police arrived, there was a scuffle. Mr. Keogh was pinned to the Carmack. Um, Mr. Kehoe. Say that name. What, Kehoe? No, where he's from. I'm not saying it. <laughs> he's from County Rexford. Uh, you didn't County even Wexford. Wexford. Wexford, yes. I, I honestly don't even know how to say that. I cannot pronounce this shit. If you can, uh, people on but the video. the Irish tradition of throwing in a whole bunch of letters for free, I'm going to guess it's probably like Rinska. And I'll ask my cousin. Mr. Kehoe of <laughs> County Wexford <laughs> was bought before Dublin District Court. Now listen, it gets better. Um, Mr. Kehoe covered his face with a folder and shouted abuse at waiting journalists as he left the court before swinging his suitcase at the crowd and lowering his trousers to expose his backside. So he covered his face. But not his ass. But showed them his butt. Okay. S I don't think that's going to help your case. Mm -mm. If you're trying to, de to determine to the judge that this was maybe just a lapse of judgment, that you were frustrated, stressed, you, important flight. Pictures of your ass on the BBC because you got pissed that you were arrested. Yeah. That's not going to help your case. However, if you want to be on the Supreme Court, yeah. 
Move you're, to America. You're fine. You are a perfectly qualified applicant. Oh, God, this is off. All right, we have someone in the channel, Drunk Higgins, who says, I'm Irish and I have no fucking clue. <laughs> <to say that." laughs> I have no fucking idea how to say that. No fucking idea. It's um, like no. Ireland, when they were making up their language, got like a two for one on the consonants. <laughs> like they got a BOGO on consonants and they had all of them left over. So they just fucking threw some extras in everywhere they don't make sense you don't pronounce them they're there for decoration i've long maintained that why the irish have a reputation for drinking is spelling bees yeah um let's move on to colorado hey pot's legal in colorado colorado springs um so that's why this story kind of baffles me why this would happen but it's also one of those cases of, yeah, you fucking deserve that, you fucking idiots. Teens mistakenly steal oregano after smashing van into pot dispensary. Oh, <laughs> babies. Police are looking for up to four teenagers who they say smashed a stolen van into the front of a pot dispensary and ran off with t-shirts and what they thought was marijuana. But it turns out it was just oregano. Quote, our product is never out, said Kim Casey, the communication manager for Native's Roots, the dispenser it was broken into. But it seems the suspects who drove the van into the store early Wednesday didn't know that. Quote, we have pre-rolled joints on display in our packaging and display cases. We do not put actual medicated products in them, so we use oregano to simulate the cannabis. That's clever. I like it. You know they smoked it. it. Well, it's like how, you know, you go to Subway and they have all those fake sandwiches lined up. Yes. Same, same principle. You know they smoked it. Yeah. And you know they're sitting there going, oh, man, this is some good shit. Now I want some fucking spaghetti. Oh, I can really feel that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, oh, no, man, this is, oh, this is such a good high. You know they were, you know these fucking idiots. That's what we call the placebo effect. How could, you could smell, oregano smells way different than marijuana. Yeah, yeah. I just, what the fuck Did were you? talking about the first time I actually smelled marijuana? And everybody laughed at me because I thought a skunk got into the day. Yes. Concert. It wasn't oregano. And what's even what's what's making me even more nuts is this is Colorado. Yeah. There are you throw a rock. You'll find a place you can walk into and legally purchase. Well, no, this was one of them. They just didn't want to pay. Why not? It's not. It's fucking legal. But they didn't want to pay. You ain't got 10 bucks for a fucking joint. It's the principle of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, God damn it, go grow your own. You can do that now. That's legal, too. There's a reason they call it weed. Find a make a hole in your backyard, dump it in, come back in a week. Well, all right, maybe not a week, but still. <laughs> that would be amazing. You can get it for fucking free. <laughs> but no, you they stole a van and drove it through the front fucking window. And what did they get out of it? T-shirts oh, and oregano. <laughs> Good job. It's... If only the t-shirts could say something like, I drove a van through the dispensary and all I got was this stupid t-shirt and jail time. Yeah, because here's the thing. When they catch your ass, you're still going to jail. It's not like... Yeah, well, the pot's legal. You know what's not? Driving a van through the front of the dispensary. <laughs> That's not legal. No, nor is theft. Uh... <clears throat> So, yeah, last one tonight. 
These, all right, these gender reveal parties are just. I, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Especially, it's a weird thing to me that we've come together. These two things have come together really weirdly, where like increasingly as a society, we're trying to get away from traditional gender roles yeah. and embrace gender fluidity. And, you know, but at the same time, there's been this rise in this gender reveal party thing. And I find that a weird juxtaposition of trends that I can't make sense of. Well, but also I think it's stupid and a dumb reason to spend a lot of money and make people buy you presents. Well, this party, congratulations, it's a felony! Oh, yeah. Border agent starts 47,000 acre wildfire yeah. by shooting exploding target at gender reveal party. Like, do you have to be that extra? <clears throat> Just release balloons or cut a cake or something. Like, you're having a baby. Literally everybody in the history of the human race has been a baby that somebody had. It's not that hard to have a baby. <clears throat> Almost any human can do it. So, like, let's dial it the fuck back. Tucson, Arizona, Border Patrol agent must pay $220,000 in fines after starting last year's sawmill fire during a gender reveal party. Dennis Dickey, 37, who pled guilty to misdemeanor federal charge Friday, is set for five years probation and has agreed to pay $220,000 in installments after he shot a target containing the explosive substance. Tannerite. Tannerite, yes. He shot a fucking Tannerite target. Yeah, you can buy those. At a gender reveal party. Dan, that's dumb. why don't yeah. you use your expertise and explain to our audience why that's bad? Because <laughs> it's highly fucking flammable, explosive. Does it have anything to do with a newborn baby? No. That's just somebody who wanted to blow some Is it a traditional up. baby gift? No. Dickies. Although Atlanta, when I was in Atlanta, the gun the gun store I went to, they they would pack pumpkins with tannerite, and you could shoot pumpkins on on Thanksgiving. What is wrong with the South? <laughs> what is wrong with the American South? Are you guys okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, because fried food. We're naked at the Chick Fil A. We're not okay. <laughs> Got your dicks out in Chick Fil A, <laughs> like shooting tannerite. What is wrong down there? What what happened to you? Dickie and his wife were holding a gender reveal party last year when he shot a quote high velocity firearm at a target intended to explode either blue or pink powder. But instead of simply revealing the gender of their baby, the fire immediately caught the dry conditions and began spreading. The explosive gender reveal party stunt was recorded by several attendees. Look at that shit! <laughs> so is it a girl or a boy? They don't say! The article doesn't... That's what it is. <laughs> Congratulations! It's a fire element! It's a bell rock! <laughs> We're having a bell rock! <laughs> Yay! Oh my... Look at that... Fuck that... 47,000 acres. And I'm, I'm like sitting on my, my uh, yard is, I think, what, half a quarter acre? It's not that. It's, it's, I'm just thinking, all right, take the house where I live and the yard and let's do that about 200,000 times, all of it on fire. Because you just had to be hella extra. Telling everybody what's coming out of your uterus. Why? Fucking. And you're just going to name it Kaylin Jackson Madison with a bunch of Y's and X's anyway, no matter what gender it is. Or Trig. They'll just name it Trig. I. <laughs> like, white people, American names? 
are becoming as bad as the Irish language? <laughs> all the extra fucking letters we're throwing in? Just, just saying. It's starting to look a little like Welsh. And I think we should stop it. I, I, why? I, I don't understand why they thought this would, why? Well, it did fly. Oh, well, it flew. What? Why did you just, just send cards? Get a yeah, balloon. I don't, I don't get the whole gender reveal party. I don't, I don't care. No, that, that's the other thing. Look. Your friends really don't give a shit. Let me know when there is a living person that I can say is cute, even though it looks like Winston Churchill for the first three months. Your friends... I'll happily lie and say your kid is cute and doesn't look like Winston Churchill, because that's the right thing to do. Your friends, hopefully, hopefully your friends don't care about your baby's genitalia. Hopefully. Yeah. In fact, you should be encouraged if they don't. That should be good. That's that's a good friend. Just God. Why explosives? Why explosives? You tell me. I don't know. I don't live in the fucking south. Well, this was Arizona. I don't think that counts as the south. No, no. Arizona's worse. That's the west. Yeah. There, I, I feel like there, it's just so fucking hot all the time that everybody goes a little crazy. They have haboobs. What? A haboob. What's a haboob? As a big ass goddamn sandstorm. Oh, okay. I knew it was something, but I forgot what that word meant. Some one day you wake up and you have a haboob on the forecast, and it's a wall of sand is coming for your city. Have it's a nice day. So they live on the Fury Road? Kinda. Yeah. Because that would kind of explain this. That would. I, it's a Mortan Joe's baby. I, I guess <laughs> the first thing we learned to like tonight is no one really gives a shit about what, what gender your child is going to be or you presume them to be or whatever. Like, I don't want to be rude. Just, but literally, guys, procreation, not that special. No. Not Not tough to do. Same thing with weddings. A lot of people do it. We've learned if you live in a place where, where pot is legal, just buy the pot. Yeah. Don't, what, well, just, just pot buy. Pot being legal doesn't make theft legal. No! Those don't, those don't go together. We've learned that if you try to chase the plane, it's not going to work. You you're have, not going to catch it. No, they, they're not going to go, oh, I'm sorry. Let me interrupt the fucking flight plan. Right. Stop in the middle of the fucking runway where there's three planes backed up behind my ass and let down. I understand. A He's more important than all of them. He comes from a rough <laughs> <laughs> so We've learned that um, the FBI does not get free chicken. No. And the fake FBI definitely doesn't get free chicken. No, they the get fake make FBI gets a set of handcuffs. Yeah. We've learned that it it if you want to keep people from seeing your cock, maybe keep your pants on. It's a good way to do it. I mean, I have to keep reminding him of that, but he's getting up there in years. So, you know. <laughs> And finally this week, we've learned if a horse runs into your bar, maybe it's actually there, maybe it's not, but it's probably a good sign it's time to close the tab. Probably good time to go home yeah. and have a glass of water. Fucking horse! Horse wanted a drink. I mean, it's France. They probably give the horses wine there. We don't know what they get up to over there. It's France. They 
all have both cone heads. Now there's a joke half the audience won't get. You don't get it either, do you? I do. That's just, that's, that that's is... cut. <laughs> wow. They're all going to think I'm just being racist against the French, but I'm not. It's, it's thing. Remember when Dan Aykroyd was funny? <laughs> 